What's up guys, my name is Max, this is MaxWorks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install this. A Trailtech Vapor on this bike, this is a 2008 TW200. Uh, pretty much any air-cooled bike installation is going to go very, very similarly to this. Um, I've installed a number of these kits over the years. I am not sponsored in any way by Trailtech, but uh, they make an excellent product. I've installed these on at least four or five bikes. Uh, both air and water cooled uh, over the years and I really love them. Uh, you can get these on eBay for around $120 shipped to your door um, and they're super easy to install and super easy to set up and why don't you guys come along with me and I'll show you how it's done. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the tank. Uh, it just makes all the wiring easier and I usually start on the accessory end so before we'll install the head unit we'll install these accessories. So let me show you what I got here. First thing is this guy right here. This is a thermocouple. It goes on the spark plug and it will measure your engine temperature. And then this guy right here is your RPM sensor. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the uh, spark plug coil. I'm sorry, the spark plug wire going uh, to the boot. And uh, that'll give us a good solid tack signal. And you basically just zip tie it in place and wrap it with electrical tape. And it's good for thousands of miles and plenty of drops. So here's what you should see. There's our little thermocouple under the spark plug. There's our spark plug boot. And I'm going to wrap this up with electrical tape just so it's all black uh, for a visual uh, thing. And then we'll plug this on when we're done down here. Next step is running the power. The power is run basically just along the frame directly to the battery. You can put ring terminals on it if you want. I just clamped it right there underneath the uh, power terminal bolts. Now in order to mount the Speedo, we have to remove one of the factory uh, rotor bolts. And the kit comes with a couple of different kinds of bolts. So we're going to find the one that fits uh, and use that. Uh, I think it's going to be this one. Oops. This one right here. Um, so now we're going to screw that one in and that'll be our magnetic pickup for the, uh, for the Speedo. Before we finish mounting the wheel speed sensor, we got to mount this head unit. And it comes with a couple of different brackets depending on the size of your handlebar. Um, I use a smaller bracket here and then it comes with a bracket here that holds the back of this. And it's real firm. This design is a lot better than it was in previous years. They've clearly done some updates on it, uh, which is really good to see. And then all the pigtails out here, including the outside temperature sensor, just kind of chill back here. And they only fit one way. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug everything up. And then we're going to uh, put the front of the bike in the air so we can figure out where exactly our wheel speed sensor needs to go. Okay, so we got this zip tied up out of the way. Got this glued in right here. Make sure you clean this surface before you tape it in and you can see it just spins right past it. Um, we've got this mounted back in here. We've got some of the wiring cleaned up. Now what you want to do is you need to program it. So to do that you need to hit all three buttons at the same time for three seconds. You get that display. First of all, miles per hour, kilometers, tire. This is your diameter in millimeters times 3.14 for the circumference. In our case it's 2261. Uh, I want a 24 hour format, that's the current time, it's uh, 6 p.m. 40 after. Um, this stays one, this is, can be changed if you're on a sports bike. Um, this is pulses per whatever. Um, that's if there's a, a phase shift, um, again not applicable to this bike. This is our temperature, I like it in Fahrenheit um, for the uh, engine temp. High is 200 I said, danger is 210. Um, First shift points at 5,000. I didn't put a second shift point. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now this is done and we can take it on the street uh, and make sure it works. And your tack is right here and you can change the mode. Like for instance, I like this version where it gives you the RPM here and the miles per hour here. And this is your total run time. Um, and you can change, that was this time. That's the total run time. Um, that's just how long this thing has been on. It's kind of like an hour meter. So I'm going to take it off the stand, put the gas tank back on, clean it up, and fire it up and take it for a spin. Well, that's all there is to it. We got our Trail Tech installed. Peel the little display cover off. Now we're done. Um, this thing is great. It took less than an hour to install, and that's considering I was filming things. Um, normally, if I was just doing this on my own, I could probably knock it out in half that time. Um, they're great, they're durable, um, they've clearly updated a few things in the design to make the mounts a little better. Um, and uh, they're super easy to set up. And now we have a gauge cluster so I know uh, temperature the engine's running at, I know my RPM, I know my speed. Um, and for about 120 bucks, it is a great sale. So, 
I'm Max, this is MaxWorks. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you wanna see all this kind of stuff before it goes up on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, at MaxWorks. Um, I love you guys, thanks, peace.